Hello, my name is Mark from JazzGuitarLessons.net and welcome to this short lesson on the use of melodic tension in jazz improvisation. Perhaps music composition too. We'll be looking into the theme of uh, the, the series House of Cards for you Netflix fan. We'll be playing it on the guitar and I'll give you some details as to how you can maximize your improvisation by using some ideas found in this theme. Let's get going. First, I want to get down to the music. We'll do the talking, the theory after. So the theme to House of Cards is basically an A minor with the, the bass doing an ostinato type of figure like this with the C note. I'm sure you're familiar with it too because there's millions of people that are watching Netflix, of course, very popular series with the lead roles uh, by the lead role by Kevin Spacey. Great, very intriguing uh, political series. So you have this... Um, time, uh, stop time pictures of Washington DC in the beginning when you have the music, what we'll do together is play the second repeat of the theme which is played by cellos. There's lots of strings, lots like trumpets and echoes, very textural, but basically it's on an A minor chord. So the first note is like your good old A minor pentatonic, right? So it's, sorry. play along then and that's just a bit I want to be talking about so what I'll do I'll start my Netflix on my computer and we can play the theme together and feel free to rewind this if you want to learn it you'll see the value of it in the next few minutes go always on an A now down Watch out for that F here. And back up. And that's the part I wanted to show you. And now you might be telling telling yourself, oh, Mark, what's up with you? What's happening? You use House of Cards on Netflix to show me jazz improv. What's up with that? Well, I want to focus on the one note in the theme that's kind of stretched out and you see the composer really decided to have it as a long note. It's that F note. We have an A string an A drone or it's like it's key of A minor something and he sits on that note and our natural ears the tendency would be to this note to resolve down to an E but he doesn't go there and that's why I was first time I watched the show I went hmm that's interesting I think we could talk about that on YouTube so he goes back to A back to the, the, the tonic. So here's what's happening. In music, in jazz, and all kinds of music, there are necessary tensions and resolutions happening. So I will point you to uh, another blog. There is making the changes on all the things you are. Link here. There's also uh, probably an old video of mine about five years ago called Making Your Licks. And it's based on these three or four things you can find in Bert Ligon's uh, Connecting Chords with Linear Harmony book, which is things resolve down. So if you play a 2-5-1 to key of C, you hear while our ears only want to get so the third of the chord rings first and the seventh and that seventh resolves to the third of the next chord and so on. So this is the result of the natural gravity and the tension that we find. I'll do the quick run through for you now. If you have a C major chord, a tolo cowboy chord like this you have some avoid notes and one of them that's very strong is the fourth. So avoid note meaning that if you sit on it, it requires you to move somewhere else. So that's F. You hear F has a really, really strong tendency to want to resolve down to E. And the same goes with any chord, any scale at any time. There are always notes that have more gravity towards certain other notes, either up or down. So for a quick run through of these, if you don't know the laws, if you don't know the rules of music yet, check out Learn the Fretboard. This is a course that's on jazzguitarstore.net. It's been used, it's one of my first courses. It's been online for almost 10 years now. And it shows you how to start hearing these things and applying these things on a fretboard. Now, back to House of Cards. What's up with me? Am I, am I going nuts? Well, in fact, I am. But uh, here's, here's the rest of the story. 
I wanted to show you how this F note is important in the theme and how it decided not to go somewhere else. So I'll recap the theme for you once again when A. That's a bass, then goes. I'm totally out of time, by the way. Then he goes. As a musician, as a person, as a human being, I'm like. This is what I really what I crave. I crave to hear that E note, but it doesn't go there. So the lesson you can, uh, the takeaway from this video lesson is first, if you don't know the rules, you should really learn these rules by either getting this book by Bert Ligon, getting, uh, so it's called Connecting Chords with Linear Harmony, getting Learn the Fretboard on the store on my website, but also studying harmony in general and this blog post we use all the things you are is called making the changes on all the things you are to understand these rules of harmony first and secondly your second goal is to be able to solo with these things so you use the devices to properly resolve from one chord to another by the way this relates to another concept i, I like to teach called the pi the three pillars of improvisation so the second pillar is all about resolving from one chord to the next. You can watch, uh, check out a blog post about this link here, hopefully, I'll get it in time. Uh, so the second pillar tells uh, the person that's improvising, you should be able to improvise while always playing the right notes and always at the bar, at the change of chord, at this bar line, go to the next chord. So first, learn the rules. Secondly, learn how you can solo with them. And of course, third rule, the third step is break the rules. Uh, and by breaking the rules, I don't mean to take all of this and put it in the trash. I mean, you can do like the compo... I don't even know who composed the music, by the way. Tip of the hat. Love the song. Uh, but this composer decided to not resolve the F note down to where it belongs to create an effect. And this is exactly... So, five minutes of rambling or ten minutes of rambling exactly to get to this now, which is... If you listen to Wes Montgomery soloing or any other great jazz improviser, this is exactly what they do. They're aware of the certain the tensions that are available in notes and whether they decide to resolve it or do something else with it, they use this to their advantage. They use the push-pull to their advantage. Because if all music would always uh, obey the laws, like all music would go in the cycle of fourth, it would be super boring and predict uh, predictable. Right, so we don't want to do this. So in this case, that note, sit on it, create a tension. It's Washington DC politics, it's dirty, corruption, murder, you know, <laughs> pollution, I don't know what else, uh, financing <laughs> political parties, and it goes. So there is this whole, we're taking advantage of the tension, we're sitting on it, but we're not quite going where it should be going. Uh, in fact, creating variety and interest in the melodic theme. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a quickie. It was in the back of my mind for a little while now. Once again, my my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar lessons. Uh, improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. And I, I will see you soon on the website. Or you can always subscribe to this channel for more free lessons, vlogs, and jazz guitar information. And uh, take care. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube to this YouTube channel. Take care. Bye.